The Big Ten suspended Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh from game day coaching for the final three games of the season over the program's in-person scouting and sign-stealing practices, which the conference says violate its sportsmanship policy. So offensive coordinator Sharon Moore stepped in today at Penn State. It was his second time as the acting head coach as we welcome in our college football insider Nicole Auerbach. And it took 23 days for a very swift and decisive response from Tony Petiti and the Big Ten. Uh, why in that time frame? Why did it happen this week? Why did it come down the day before the game? Well, it came down the way that it did because he needed to go through all of the steps that he felt were necessary. And now the Big Ten feels confident that an NCAA violation occurred. Using the sportsmanship policy allows them a way to do something this season because these were games that were affected this season. And they're punishing Jim Harbaugh so that they are able to do something to take action against the Michigan program, but try to minimize the impact on the players. So they were trying to kind of walk that fine line. And I think this is where he landed. And it took until Friday afternoon to get it done. Yeah, and players still didn't know maybe 90 minutes before kickoff because they're waiting to see if maybe an injunction could be used to allow Jim Harbaugh to still coach. Uh, but let's talk about your reaction to, to hearing the suspension come down on Friday as we are waiting for our games to gear up on Saturday. It's just interesting that it happened right now. Now, I know that there's a lot more in this investigation in terms of the NCAA side, but it's the best thing in terms for Michigan moving forward. It's like a slap on the wrist is all it is because you look at Jim Harbaugh and he's going to be able to be in the building week in and week out. He's there for the meetings. He's part of the game planning. He's able to interact with those with those players. And he's even there at the hotel before the game. He's just not at the game. So it's not as impactful as the players as some might think. Yeah, it feels more like a, a game day ban than a, a true suspension. And uh, I think in, in given the circumstances, probably fair because if you're Michigan, you're sitting here and you're saying, OK, you haven't actually fully completed an investigation. So how can you actually act? And if you're the Big Ten and the 13 other schools, you're saying, listen, these are things that happened this year and we need action right now. And so I think the timing of it is probably why we got here the way that we did. I don't think it would feel fair if you went the whole season without punishing him. But the flip side of it is, is Katz and Ann Arbor sitting there right now like, y'all yeah, don't even know all the details. <laughs> what we do know is that the, the scheme happened, but yeah. we don't know the extent of it. We don't know who to punish, how to punish quite yet. Uh, so it's a very layered yeah. topic. And you can see the Big Ten sent out a 13-page letter that they sent to Michigan. So they mentioned that there was an extensive spreadsheet. There's evidence that obviously exists that they could come down with a suspension. But there's still an ongoing NCAA investigation as well. So let's talk about what's next or what could come down the pipe further. Well, the NCAA investigation is ongoing, and this is something that we're not expecting to affect this postseason, but it is something that could potentially issue more penalties against Michigan and also Jim Harbaugh specifically because there's a provision that the head coach is responsible for whatever happens within their program, whether they know or not. But in the short term, this week, Michigan is going to take the Big Ten to court, and they're going to try to get relief from this ruling. If the court and the judge sides with Michigan, I think we can expect that he'll be on the sidelines against Maryland and Ohio State. Well, it's been interesting because this has been ongoing. I mean, for weeks, really, we've been waiting for a decision to be made. But we saw what the team did. They took to Twitter. What did they say? Bet. Bet. Um, it seemed like a little bit of a rallying cry for this team going into November 11th, which was a day that we've all been waiting for to see Michigan actually challenged out on the field. Yeah, and they were challenged in the game against Penn State. You could tell everybody's mentality was that they wanted to take it uh, head on because they had the Michigan versus everybody. We yeah. talked about the Twitter reactions. This is also a team that dealt with their head coach being suspended for the first three games of the year, too. So they've had to rally before, and I think that they're used to and comfortable with this situation, which is odd place to be, no doubt. But these guys have responded to every challenge.